Hello and welcome to Polk County, the heart of Central Florida. I'm Myrta Young, Historic Preservation Manager. Join me as we travel on the Heritage Trail to discover Polk County's rich and diverse historic places. The diverse history of the area is evident across Polk County, from city centers and urban neighborhoods to rural farms and cultural landscapes along our roads, railways, and rivers. History allows us to explore sense of place, the unique character of the county, and learn about the numerous people and events that shape the region. In celebration of this rich cultural heritage, the Polk County Heritage Trail was developed to highlight more than 150 years of county history. From historic homes and museums to Civil War sites, the trail provides an opportunity for communities to share their local history in the authentic locations where it happened. Join us in exploring the Polk County Heritage Trail. Today on the Heritage Trail, we are visiting the E.M. Baynard House in Auburndale. One of the city's oldest buildings, this beautiful two-story home, was built in 1894 and today houses a museum dedicated to the preservation of the city's vibrant historic heritage. The first settlers arrived in Auburndale in the 1870s and 1880s as word spread of Central Florida's abundant natural resources and prime agricultural and cattle grazing lands. Polk County received a huge boost as Henry Plant's South Florida Railroad laid track through the area in the early 1880s and connected the county with larger regional economic markets. Following the construction of a depot, the Auburndale community continued to grow with the establishment of new businesses and a post office in 1884. Born in 1861 in South Carolina, Ephraim M. Baynard settled in Auburndale in 1888. Impressed by the array of new opportunities the area offered, Baynard quickly established himself as a savvy businessman. He became a profitable cattle rancher and operated a general store in the growing town. Baynard also became a highly successful grower of tomato and citrus products and established the Chase Packing Plant which he owned and operated until it was destroyed in a fire after the turn of the 20th century. Baynard married Nettie Lee Brooks in 1889 after Brooks came to Auburndale from Key West to escape a yellow fever epidemic in South Florida. The couple had two daughters, Ruth and Elizabeth. Constructed by Albert Chipman Thorpe in 1894, the young couple's first home was a grand two-story home befitting of Baynard's growing status as a successful businessman. The large L-shaped home was located in a residential area just north of Auburndale's downtown business core near Lake Stella and was an excellent example of folk Victorian architecture. The clean lines and simple styling of the exterior of the home were expertly offset by decorative cornice line brackets under the eaves and an elaborate spindle work porch that gently flowed around the house. The covered porch connected the main home to the separate cookhouse located in the back. Red pine floors, fireplaces with beautiful carved mantles and stained glass panels accenting the main doorways created cozy, inviting interior spaces. Ephraim and Baynard sold the home in 1913 to Julian Mobley and moved into one of the largest privately owned homes in Auburndale, known today as Kersey Funeral Home. The original Baynard house was converted into apartments in the 1950s and following a period of decline, the home was purchased by the city of Auburndale in 1985. The Baynard House Museum opened in 1997 and is listed on the prestigious National Register of Historic Places. The house also displays a great Floridian plaque honoring E.M. Baynard, who later became a real estate developer and owner of several downtown Auburndale commercial buildings, including the Baynard Retail Building. The Baynard House remains a point of pride for the community and is a prime example of the importance of the preservation of the county's historic heritage. We invite you to hit the road 
visit the Baynard House and the other historic places located on the Polk County Heritage Trail.